Greetings, esteemed individuals of royalty. It fills me with pleasure to witness your appearance once more. Today's offering is the typical serving of insightful royal updates and evaluations. However, prior to commencing our discussion, kindly subscribe to my channel and activate notifications by tapping on the bell icon for which I extend my appreciation in advance. Meghan and Harry, the beloved royal rebels, have arrived in Colombia for a tour with the Invictus Foundation aimed at supporting wounded veterans and spreading positivity. While this may seem like an ordinary trip, prepare to be shocked as things take an unexpected turn towards expensive extravagance. Before we proceed, let us pause for a moment and acknowledge that the individuals involved are not fictional characters in an exaggerated reality program. However, I must commend whoever is crafting the narrative for 2023 as they deserve recognition for this unexpected turn of events. It's more astonishing than witnessing a llama within a high-end fashion store. As Megan debarks the plane, she appears like a true fashion icon worth more than 130,000 pounds. Surprisingly though, this fancy appearance was at the cost of Invictus Foundation as per reports from Colombian government imposing an enormous bill for her wardrobe choices spanning two ordinary days. Frankly speaking, I hardly switch out of my nighttime attire during that time frame. Let's take a moment to engage in critical thinking and ask ourselves, is this story too unbelievable? Without question. Could it have been contrived by writers for an over-the-top episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Royal Edition? Absolutely. However, does that diminish its level of enjoyment? No way. Shall we analyze this situation? Are we expected to trust that the Colombian government, with its multitude of urgent concerns and duties, would prioritize acting as fashion authorities for Meghan Markle? It's unlikely just as probable as me receiving an accolade for best dressed at the Met Gala. Can we discuss these ensembles? Eight distinctive styles in a span of 48 hours? The mere thought of constantly changing outfits wears me out. Megan appears to be attempting some sort of swift alteration achievement. While I understand the desire to present oneself flawlessly, she's now prioritizing time inside the dressing room instead of focusing on charitable tasks at hand. However, things start to heat up now as the Invictus Foundation is adamant about their decision and won't budge. It's almost like a toddler rejecting vegetables stubbornly. You have to appreciate their determination. They're standing firm with a resounding no, and I find it quite enjoyable in an underdog versus heavyweight sort of way. Only this time David flaunts high-end designer clothing while Goliath keeps track of fashion receipts. While I acknowledge that the Invictus Foundation may not be flawless and could have made some questionable choices, it seems unreasonable to me that they would ask Megan to pay for clothing she already possessed. It's comparable to your acquaintances requesting payment for the attire you wore at their gathering. Simply inappropriate. Shall we discuss the Colombian government briefly? Although I understand that they are facing difficult circumstances with limited funds, attempting to extort a charitable organization for clothing expenses is akin to extracting blood from in stone adorned in Valentino attire and boasting exceptional tresses. Do you know what's ironic? Whether this tale is as phony as a counterfeit $3 note or not, it highlights our perception of the royals and global relations. We've crafted a strange society where fashion takes precedence over humanitarian efforts. Do we truly desire to promote such a storyline in 2023?